Glenn reporting to you from a uh, breezy southwest Florida this afternoon. Uh, it is Thursday afternoon. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about patience. Uh, the Bible says that difficulty or tribulation produces patience, and patience hope, and hope does not make us ashamed because it causes the love of God to be shed abroad in our hearts through and by the Holy Spirit. I know in the difficulties and challenges and the confinement and isolation that we're all going through, the last thing you probably want to hear about is, hey, be patient. Well, you know, it's been a reflective time for me, and I've been recalling just what life was like when I was younger, where you had to be patient. Patience was normative for life. You had to be patient when you saved up to buy something, a car, a motorcycle, a boat, uh, something that our culture, with its instantaneous, you can get anything when you want by getting into debt or having credit that we've lost. I believe one of the things we've lost through just getting things easily is that we've become consumers and therefore we consume this God we want to value either things and sadly most of all it has came and flowed into not valuing the people, the relationships, the people that we love. My hope and prayer for you is that out of this situation that patience is producing some sort of hope. It's producing love in your heart for your relationships, for your friends, your family, that you come out of this different to what you were when you came into this. It's so, so important that we don't consume things or people, but we change our values. Uh, and hopefully that is the case for you. I just want you to know that here at New Vision Church, we're praying for you. Uh, we love you. Uh, feel free to contact me on Facebook through my messenger. I'll be talking to you again soon, but please, please, please reflect upon the things I'm saying. No patience is good. James says, let patience have perfect work, that you might be complete, lacking nothing. God bless you.